Facts First presents. When a guy rescued this trunk from a dumpster, what he found inside brought its owner to tears. Roger Briney served in the military in the early 1970s. He was a member of the United States Infantry, and back then he was working at Arlington National Cemetery. He was there for three years before becoming a member of the Army National Guard. The military had always been a huge part of Roger's life. When he got older, he retired from the military, but that didn't change the love that he had for the U.S. When a guy rescued this old trunk from a dumpster, what he found inside brought its owner to tears. First, though, help us spread the word about Factsverse by clicking the like button, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Now, Roger doesn't make a habit of jumping into dumpsters, especially ones that were about to have everything inside crushed by a trash compactor. Well, Roger was living in Virginia, and each week he would drop his trash off at the compacting site in Virginia. But while dropping his trash in the compactor one day, he noticed something in one of the compactors that immediately caught his eye. He knew he had to act fast if he was going to get it out before it got crushed. The object that Roger saw was a trunk with the American flag sticking out of it. He says he was very angry that somebody would throw away the American flag in such a disrespectful manner. When he saw the flag, he didn't take much time to think about the dangers of going into the dumpster himself. He saw the flag and immediately and instinctively jumped in to get it. When Roger opened up the trunk's lid to free the flag, the employee at the compacting site was about to crush the pile. Fortunately, Roger was fast enough to save the trunk and avoid any serious injury. He took the trunk home and put it in his basement, and it remained there, untouched, for close to a year. When Roger finally opened the trunk again, he first removed the flag. He washed it and then refolded it. He didn't dig any deeper into the trunk at that time. He had planned to get rid of the flag during an unserviceable disposal ceremony at the local American Legion post. They held these services twice since Roger pulled the trunk out of the dumpster. Each time they had a service, something came up and Roger was not able to make it. Roger had a friend named Walker Galding, and he was an amateur historian. He was going to Roger's house to pick up an old military desk for his collection. Under the desk was the trunk that Roger found in the dumpster. Roger says that he left the trunk under the desk, unopened, because the idea of opening it made him a bit anxious. He assumed that it was the owner's family who threw the trunk away. Just the thought of it made him wary about opening the trunk. While Roger was worried about opening the trunk, Walter's interest was piqued. He quickly put the trunk in his car and he took it home. When Walter and his wife opened the trunk, they couldn't believe what was inside. Inside there was a folded flag, a passport, photographs, a cigar lighter, and a marriage license. They also found some newspaper articles that made Walter very curious about who the items belonged to and why the trunk ended up in a dumpster. It didn't take long for Walter to find out that the owner of the trunk was Lt. Col. Clyde N. Pathry. He was a pilot in the U.S. Air Force during World War II. By looking at the trunk, Walter realized that it had not been opened since 1966, which was when Pathry died. Walter's friend, Miguel Mulvena, he came over to visit after Walter opened the chest. After Walter showed Nigel what was inside, Nigel said that it was imperative that they reunite the trunk with Pathry's family. Nigel went on the internet to see if he could find the soldier's family. Nigel found Pathry's granddaughter, Cindy Blass, and she was shocked, but nowhere near as shocked as Pathry's son, Don. According to Cindy, Don had been talking about his father's trunk since she was a child. When they brought the trunk to Don, who was now 79 years old and living in an assisted living facility, he said that he'd given up on finding the trunk years ago. The family says that as they went through the trunk, it was almost like hearing Pathry tell his stories all over again. Don saw his flight cap and put it on immediately. They had learned plenty about what Pathry did for his country. He was awarded a medal for 15,000 accident-free miles in the air. He even flew the King of Belgium, and he was a personal pilot to two generals during the war. Don recalled a story about how his father flew the Shah of Iran during a hailstorm. The family thanked Nigel and Walter for bringing the trunk to them. They also called Roger and thanked him for saving it from destruction. Don says that he will never let that trunk get out of his sight again. Subscribe for more.